presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, totally. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's yeah, good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So, well, we uh, appreciate your growling question. problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done the gold report and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading down at 386. NASDAQ's off 214. S&P's down 66. That's a downdraft, folks, inside the uh, NASDAQ and S&P of one point. Well, the, the NASDAQ's 1.6%, the S&P's 1.5%, and the Dow Industrials 1.1%. Gold. Gold contract down $18.50, trading out at $19.18 an ounce. We have silver down $0.24, cents, $23.14 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $0.78, cents, $90.46 $0.46 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note down two ticks, 108.03. 30-year down 14 at 114.14 14 in King Dollar. That's all about King. It's pretty amazing that it's just about King Dollar. It's so weird. You know, I've seen this happen before, but, like, this is quite a streak, man. So King Dollar is up 211 uh, ticks, 106, 207. Euro's at 107. The yen's at 149. British pounds at 121 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. You're down six and a half bucks out here. You get volume out here at 59 million, so you're going to have an expansion of volume. You know, your next leg down, you know, is basically about this... You know, we're, we're at 425. You get basically 417, 419 in this whole area. You know, that, that's kind of where we broke out from. So I suspect that's where we're going to go because you're in no man's land right now. You're, you broke the swing. You know, you're not next to the, we, the breakout area. So you get about 4, 420 to 417. We're going to take a look at the NDX 100. What you've done with the NDX is that it has broken the swing today of the uh, 350, 471. You have 39 million shares traded, which is going to be an expansion of volume. So what that sets up, the next leg there sets up this, uh, that? we're at 354. That's setting up a, that's setting up a 338. That's how this is shaking out. So, you know, you're talking about all the way down here. And here's the swing. You know, it's just, Barely breaking the swing, but because the S&P is so far down, I just don't see that, you know, this thing's going to turn around. We go into the, um, well, let's go to the note and bond market and take a look at the note and bond because it's simultaneously the note, bond, dollar market. That, that's what it's all about. And you can see the 10-year note, that's, that hasn't held price either. So now we're going to have a, another high interest rate in the 10-year. So today the 10-year is running 4.554. And that's the high for the year. You can see a contraction of volume out here, but bottom line is not, not holding price. Gold, we go to the gold contract. What we have with the gold contract, it's making its way. Let's do that one. The gold contract's making its way down to the lower end of the consolidation, and that consolidation is the 1914 area. We hit 1917 today. Now you got 196,000 contracts. That's a lot of contract volume uh, coming down into that into that area. You know, you, you're coming in. You broke. You broke the swing that had 222. You know, so you get an expansion of volume. So that means that that bottom is vulnerable. No doubt about it. If we go take a look at the GDX, that the gold equities are still stronger than the contract, which is pretty wild. You can see the GDX, you're only down with 12 million shares, and you're going into 20, you're going to 30 million actually. And the swing point had 13 million. We'll do 13 million. But you can just kind of see this is set up. The, the, the equities are still stronger than the metal itself. And then, well, actually, let's go to the oil market next. So we take a look at oil. What we have with oil out here. 
Oil rejected $88.19 today. You're at $90.14. Let's see what kind of volume we have here. Yeah, it's light volume, man. Yeah, this oil contract, not done yet. It's not done yet. It hit 92.43 last week, but that's not done yet. And then here we are. This is the number. And, you know, listen, it, it makes sense because you get the, the way that the S&P 500 is, you know, the amount of earnings that they have overseas is incredible. It, and the thing with the NASDAQ, no doubt about that. So if we put this on, you're going to see this has been a straight shot, moonshot. You know, from 95, we're at 106, 182. We put this on a two-year. What you're going to see is I had two different numbers here. The first number is the bottom of the downdraft. See, we're going into the bottom of the downdraft from last November. That's when the dollar got smoked from 111 to 106. Now, 106, 281 was the number. We got to 106, 261 today. So that's your first, you know, sign, meaning that, okay, there's some resistance there. That being said, though, the way that this contract's trading, looks to me it's gonna go right through it, and now your swing point is this 107,993. So, you know, we'll see how this baby shakes out, but the dollar has been relentless. There's no doubt about it. We look at some of the higher volume equities out here, and you can see it's this higher price in the dollar, lower price everything else. We take a look at Tesla down, uh, well, yeah, let's do it this way. Let's go into the NDX 100 first and see the strength versus the weakness. So inside the NDX, you have Lucid uh, Motors, that's up 3.5%, Dexcom's up 2.5%, Montelis is up 1.5%, and then you have the Dollar Tree up 1.2%. Taken away from it, Sirius Satellite's down 55 You get uh, Syntas off 45 I want to look at Syntas. And Amazon's off 45 Let me look at Syntas. Because Syntas is a great indicator, folks, if you are going into a, oh, if you are going into a recession. Look at this. What the heck happened here? Let me look at this. This is Syntestock IF. Revenue matches. After first quarter revenue matches analyst expectations. I'll tell you what, man. It says they made what they were supposed to make, but this is, this right here, they put this on a weekly. You know, what Syntest does, folks, every retail business that you see, you know, whether it's in their toilets, in their, you know, rugs, meaning if you're up north, I mean, Syntest is all over the place. Syntest is the first identification that things are going to get soft. Now, this is coming down, let me put this on a weekly, for, I mean, a daily. So it came down hard. Put this on a weekly now. So on a weekly, well, still doesn't look bad in the weekly. So we'll see. It's down 23 bucks though. It's down 5%. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 387. Nasdaq's off 213. S&P's down 66. We'll come right back. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th, from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 415. We get the NASDAQ off 225. The S&Ps are off 70. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at uh, uh, 20 past the hour. Don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Come over to our website at TFN. You're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the opening call. In fact, you're going to see it says subscribe to webinar. We're going to get both which is pretty cool. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has a huge amount of archives on there. You also get to get all those archives. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, um, it's not a very pleasant day in the market. Dow's down 421. So um, I thought I'd just A lot of red. Review a lot of red, no doubt. A, a lot of red. I thought I'd just review where we are for subscribers to my opening call. Um, okay. So using uh, one of the techniques that I, I, I'm really fond of, uh, we, we managed to go short the day of the high for the Dow. The Dow on the 1st of August hit 35,679. And we went short. We're still short. Um, we also went short two days after the all-time high in the SMHs, which is the Semiconductor Index. SMH, here it is. Um, right here, 161.17 uh, was the all-time high, July the 31st. And what's fascinating about this is you made a high in the SMHs. The, this is the, uh, the market vector semiconductor ETF. And November of 2021 at 159.42, came all the way down to 83.49, and then ran to two points above that, 161.17. No, it's amazing that it made an all-time high. Well, when it did that, it there was a, a doji candle. It was actually a Chapman wave, a reverse. It's a red inverse. Roman candle, I'll talk about that on my show tomorrow if anyone's interested in my show at 10 o'clock in the uh, Tiger Technician's Hour. And then there was a doji candle, and then right at the all-time high, instead of having this huge candle, at an all-time high, it just squeaks to this tiny little doji candle on the 31st of July, 
And the following day made a lower low, and then I looked at it and I said, everything about this says to me, <clears throat> this is the day after we had gone short the Dow, that th this uh, semiconductor uh, index has run its course and it should be turning down. So we went short the, the day, two days after the high, within two points of the high, and we are still short. Now, if you use a one-to-one, -one, this is the, I call it the Tiger Financial News Networks, A to B equals C to D, completely different to my notation of uh, higher peaks, A, B, C, D, F, G, and lower troughs, the same thing. This is different. So, um, we are within a, a point or so of that equidistant move from 161.17 down to 143.35 and then back up to the 150s and now we've come down. So this is actually a pretty important moment, but that's just part of the story. The real story is you can see this weekly chart in the semi, and I always think that the semiconductor in index kind of leads the market up and down over the decades. I've followed it for, for just forever and it just seems to me that that happens so often that you've got to respect this. So there's a pattern that I call the dreaded H where you come down sharply, then you arch over, it looks like a lowercase h, and at a peak A or a B, it breaks the left side low. Well, we've done that now in the weekly chart, and that just says that we're now underneath this inside track. What was a propellant zone is now a repellent zone. So all of these things are saying um, that we, it's not going to be easy because the other thing is uh, the dollar has run up. I, I use this uh, indicator called the 914 exponential moving averages. And I've been saying this for some time that that nine period moving average, this green line, the daily chart, is so strongly above the 14 period moving average that to really get the dollar to break down, you'd have to see it probably under 104.30. And right now it's at 106.24. So, so far, just as we're speaking right now, I don't have any indication on the dollar that it's going to maybe it can have a little pullback, but I don't see a major turn yet. I will see it if there's a, about a two or three point decline in the next week or so. But so far, and the other thing I've been talking about in the dollar is that um, there was a series, I'm going to squeeze this a little bit so you can see it better right here. So this is the weekly chart. So 114.78 was the high in September of 2022 in the dollar, and it comes down and then it makes this pattern that I call I should show it to you right here if I can get it quick enough. Let's see if I can do that. Yeah. So the pattern that I spoke about earlier on is where you come down sharply, make a little bounce, and then fail at a peak A or B. And that, that I call the dreaded H. Well, in the weekly chart, it made this lowercase h. And the lowercase h, if it holds the left side low, can then make an arch that goes to a lowercase m. So it's just two small arches. And it broke down and hit the 200 period moving average. So it sounds like the dollar is just fantastic. But actually, the, all the dollar's done is gone back into this rectangle. What I mentioned about three months ago, and then two months ago, and then a month ago, I said, I'm waiting because until the, the dollar can close for two out of three weeks above the high that was made back in the, the week of the 10th of March of 105.88, I need to see I need to see a decisive break because this rectangle pattern can actually become a magnet. So the price goes up, but if it doesn't close nicely above the arch high, it can come right back. So this is a, a pretty critical moment on the weekly chart. And then talking about the weekly chart, look at this. Well, I should just also mention that we are short we are long a uranium stock. We're still long, we have fabulous profits, we're still holding it, and it's funny in this environment, it might be because Crude oils moved up, so this is part of the energy sector. So we're in at about 364, and it's now trading at 524, and we're holding nice. it. It's, yeah, it is nice because in this environment, to have something moving up is very, it's, it's good. So I just wanted to show you that in the in the weekly charts, look, the dollar, uh, sorry, the Dow, this is just the beginning of the week. I have to wait until Friday's close. But you can see there's an S. That means the nine period went under the 14 period moving average. And that's the first time it's done that in the weekly chart since, oh, way back. The last time it was negative was back in November of 2022. So I'm watching this very closely. If you look at the S&P, the S&P is the same same thing. It's uh, right. It's also done this one to one. It's right on the 200 period moving average as we speak right now in the daily chart. But you've done the dreaded H, this H pattern, which very often, if you break down, 
you can go one to one to the downside. So it, the nine period moving average is so close to turning negative, but it hasn't yet in the so weekly charts. I have to wait till Friday. And the same thing in the QQQ turned down sharply, but the nine period moving average is still above the 14 in the weekly chart. All the daily charts are in sell modes, but I, I'm just starting to get sell signals in the weekly chart. So I, I, I must say this is a, a period fraught with uh, things that are, we don't have everything coming together. We don't, think back, how many times have we had the dollar screaming to recovery highs, the bonds going to lower lows, um, crude oil holding very nicely in the upper range. So I think there, and then strikes, they're talking about strikes. So there are a lot of things there that, that could make one pretty nervous. No doubt. Basil, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the show tomorrow. Thank you, man. Thank you, Tom. You too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Adding stock options to your portfolio can be a major game changer, but the full complexities of these instruments can oftentimes elude even the most experienced traders. Whether you're a seasoned trader looking to sharpen your knowledge on options or you're completely new to the market, Teddy Kekstat is here to help. On Wednesday, September 27th from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Teddy is hosting a live stream that will teach you how to capitalize on time with calendar stock option spreads. Teddy will also go over how to trade stocks and other market movements without large capital allocation, how to expand portfolio diversification, how to maximize potential returns, basic entry and exit techniques, and more. If that wasn't enough of a reason to attend, Teddy will also be answering all questions live. If you're serious about making money in this market, head over to the front page of TFNN.com today to sign up for Teddy's live stream. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading <clears throat> down to 403. NASDAQ is off 225. S&Ps are off 70. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. You can reach Tim, folks, every trading day. It's a great newsletter at Ord, ord-oracle.com. That's ord-oracle.com. Tim Ord, what a market. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yeah. Yourself? Well, good, good. Uh, I got a couple of charts. We're kind of walk through it. Everybody's kind of uh, worried about the uh, gold market, so we're actually going to take a pretty big view on it. So, okay, you know, we 
when you start chart one, okay, we've showed this a number of times. Um, the top window is the RSI for the uh, bullish percent index for the gold miners slash GDX ratio. Right. And every time uh, the RSI of of uh, that ratio got below thirty and closed above thirty, a majority of the time the bottom was in. That just happened here, probably uh, in well, sept- uh, I don't know, probably early September. Don't have the exact date. But uh, anyhow, all the blue lines there across the chart shows the time that signal was generated. So let's look at the bigger chart of that same chart. This chart goes back uh, to uh, chart number two. Okay. It goes back all, all the way back to uh, 2008, about mid-2008. Yes. And that's uh, it's kind of a rare signal, but the blue line, sh- uh, anyhow, that type of signal where the RSI dropped below 30 and closed above 30, I took it all the way back to 2008, and all the blue lines there, uh, horizontal blue lines, are times that signal was generated, and there's uh, which was 18 times, and there's two red uh, uh, lines there that the signal failed. So if you do that number, um, you work out 80 percent or 89 percent success rate. Yeah, pretty good. So, yeah, yeah. So the odds of this making a low. Uh, in this vicinity, because this doesn't actually pick up the exact low, but does pick up the vicinity of a low, is 89%. So you really don't really want to be bearish here. Uh, again, the other two times was coming off the 2011 major top, uh, so that didn't give a signal. Then 2016, that was going off of a ballistic upward rally. I remember that rally just went right through the ceiling. Right. Uh, then, it, then it failed, but since then, 2016, all those signals have been successful. So I flipped uh, to a little another chart here and show we uh, show where we are in, on the short term basis. Is that the third and chart? Again, yeah, yeah, the third chart. Okay, cool. And uh, uh, the bottom window is the 62 a 62 day average of the uh, up down volume percent for GDX. So it measures the up down volume of all the stocks in GDX, which is, I think is around 30 or 32 of them. And so when it gets above zero, that's the blue shaded area, is when those rallies start. And sometimes they kind of hover around. If you look at uh, 2019, right smack at that January high, it kind of fumbled around that zero line before the rally actually got, uh, got going. And it's kind of common, but once it gets around zero, it usually stays there. It usually doesn't go up and eject and go back down. It usually hovers around that zero line, which is what we've kind of been doing. And we got above that zero line last week. Now we're a little bit below it. We're approximately about minus two right now. And I think got up about plus five last week. So we're hanging around that zero line. And this is a, a 62-day average, so it's like three months three of months, data. Three months, yep. Uh, so, and also I want to point out this chart. Uh, when it gets down below minus 20, which it did back in July of 2000, or it looks like maybe September of 2021, got down below minus 20 again in, looks like about July 2022. And again in July 2023, the market flipped sideways for, uh, for several months. Uh, in 2021, it went sideways for approximately six months. In 2022, it went sideways for four months. Currently, we've been going sideways for about three months. So, in my opinion, we're still looking at a low here. I think the market, because it's down so hard, is affecting pretty much all the markets. So I don't think this is a big decline. I still think we're probably in a basing period. And there's a good chance we could possibly base for maybe another month and be similar to the previous times when this indicator hit below minus 20. You flip sideways for several months, and maybe that's what's going on here. But I don't think the market's set up now for a decline from here. Uh, yeah, and if we, if we other, stay down here for yeah, another yeah. month in the gold market, no one's ever going to buy any stocks. And that's exactly what you need for a market to go higher. Right. Interesting. Right. Yeah. Right. You really, you really want you know sentiment and everything really be through the floor. You want people to actually hate the word gold stock. You They're certainly not making it easy. Market. That's you right. Really They're not, not making it easy right market. now. I can tell you. You know, you know, it's interesting though, Tim. They are actually they they are stronger than the gold contract still. 
I mean, you know, it's interesting. A, a few of these are actually pretty strong. You know, well, I mean, they've, they're back down. But, you know, if you look at like an Eco Eagle, it's like, okay, man, it's back down, but not much, man. You know, so there's a few of them, even Newmont. You know, there's a few that just haven't backed down, which is pretty positive, you know, so. Well, I think the major bottom, again, back to this chart here, I, uh, I had some other charts that gave it the, uh, a long-term buy signal last July, and if you, which is July of 2022. Yeah. And if you look where we are last July compared to where we are right now, to me, this is just a sideways consolidation right. that's been going on since April. Right. And, and I think that's all it is. I don't think we're going to go down all the way you know, I'm, I'm thinking still, in general, I think we're going to move sideways around this, you know, 2830 area to a 2730 area. And I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah, see, if you um, look at this, I'm going to put this up for the, you know, listeners right now. So this is pretty intense because what does happen, you got to remember, folks, OK, that, you know, Tim and I, you know, are both big, you know, Wyckoff people also. And this deal, the longer that you build a cause here. The bottom line, the higher you can go. And you know what's interesting, Tim, is that, you know, I get this on a monthly right now, right? Going all the way back to uh, 2022. And on the monthly, check this out. This is pretty intense, man, actually. On the monthly, I won't take this month, but, uh, well, even if I did. You know, we went up on that September with uh, 182 million shares in the GDX. And... Yeah, it's, uh, and, and going down right now at 29 million. <laughs> yeah. That, that bar yeah. is huge, man. The bar that it's going into, which is that November bar of 2021. You know, yeah. that's when the GDX went from that 24 to 28, and then that, that basically threw it into a consolidation. So there's no doubt that's going to be intriguing. So, right. Yeah. And volume is, is basically like gas, or not gas, it's like energy. Right. Or gas for a car. Right. And uh, so if you get volume going up, and, and Bruce Lee, less volume going down, the bigger trend is up. Right. Uh, so I, I don't have a volume chart here, but I do have up and down volume, uh, which kind of works in a similar way. It's a little bit different way to look at volume, but it, it works uh, pretty well. So it, it measures basically the up volume compared to the down volume, that bottom chart on, on, uh, yes. on chart three. Uh, the bottom window on chart three, it measures the up volume compared to the down volume. So, and if you, if you notice, uh, you know, we had a washout move of minus 20, and that's pretty much the Josh move to the downside. So, stay right there, um, folks. Tim we, and we I are going to be coming. here for another month, though, so I don't know. I'll, no. I'll stay here. Stay there. So. Tim and I are coming right back. You can get hold of Tim, folks, at ord, O R D oracle.com. Tim and I are coming right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Okay, Tim, where, where would you like to go next? Yes, let's go to number uh, chart four. Okay. Uh, this is a seven indicator, and uh, the, the bottom window is the CBOE. Uh, equity put call ratio reading with the 21 day average. And the next higher window from the bottom, the second window up from the bottom is the CBOE uh, equity put call ratio readings uh, with the five day average. And the chart goes back to about well, mid 2014. And the red lines or the pink areas show the times when this ratio is above uh, a certain level, actually a bullish level. So this is kind of a, it measures how many uh, puts. The calls there is. In, yes. in other words, in up markets, people buy more calls and puts, and down markets, people buy more puts and calls. So this measures on a five day and a, and a 21 day average. So when it gets up uh, into bullish territory, which we are right now, we actually have been for about the last uh, several weeks, is usually getting close to a low. This really doesn't pick out the bottom per day or bottom the day of the bottom or anything like that, it gets you in the vicinity of a low. Okay. And so, uh, so, and it, it could be a little off, but in general, it's usually pretty good. When everybody hits, hits the sell button, th these indicators jump up and it gives you a good clue that uh, a bottom's coming up. So, and we're in that bullish range right now on a three week and actually on a, on a one week uh, time frame. So, uh, ha uh it actually has a great history. So, uh, in my opinion, this is not a bear market. We're probably going into a low. Uh, you know, could it be another week or two, maybe? But we're, we're bang, according to the put call ratio readings, it's kind of a seminary here. We're probably getting close. So now it's flipped to, on a shorter term basis, it's flipped to five. Okay. Chart number five. There we go. And this is my kind of bread and butter of uh, panic because it works pretty well. The trend uh, is actually measures the uh, advanced decline and also measures up down volume. And it puts it in all in one number. Uh, when the number is one, everything's kind of neutral. There's, there's just as much up volume as down volume as just as much as advanced as there is decline. So it doesn't really say much. But when that indicator gets above one point or around 1.2 and higher, then volume's starting to hit the declining stocks, and that's when that number jumps up. So it, it measures kind of the selling against declining stocks, and it goes the other way, too. It measures also uh, when it gets down below 0.8, it, it tells you that uh, most buying is going on on the up stock. Everyone's buying the same stocks. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, so it kind of – so it's a good indicator uh, to look. Anyhow, the, the, the bottom window – is the five-day average of the arms index or trend index next to the one up is the 10-day. The 10-day is usually the better one. That's two weeks of data. And the, the pink areas there show the times when this indicator got in bullish territory. 
And uh, so basically all, you know, we went over this chart before, but from May of 2022 until basically April of 2023, the market built a base. And if you can see, which is that kind of a side blue area, I kind of boxed in blue there. Yes. Uh, and it was uh, 365 to 390 was support because that's where the trend on a five day and a 21 day we're reaching panic levels, so okay. that's building a base. Panic happens at bottoms, and that's where that base was. So now we flip over to the current time frame, and neither the five day or the ten day have reached bullish uh, readings yet. Uh, the ten day needs to get up to around 1.2, and the five day needs to get up around 1.5. And so, ideally, what we want the market to do right now to get those two five and ten day trends up around into the bullish territory really showing panic you need kind of a washout move in the market you want the trend preferably close up around two or three which would be ideal now tim do, do you do you're you going into a washout move tim do you Go use ahead. the do you use the closing trend or using the intraday high trend no, you'd use the close. Close, okay, uh, which makes a huge difference yeah, because, wanna, like, you know, yeah, yes, yesterday we had a point six six, <laughs> So that kills everything, right? It's interesting. And, yeah, it kills everything. Yeah, and on right. a close, it closed at point seven three. Yeah, right. So yeah, there's right. a lot of bomb pickers there, evidently. And we had, a, no, you, you know, today, it, what happened here, folks, is that today you had a high of 1.45, but yet you're only at 1.09 right now. So, yeah, it's, that's they're buying too quick. Interesting. Yeah, man. they're buying too quick. So, yep. so you, you really want, you know, when the big, what I call the puke happens, those trends just explode. Right. And when those trends explode, you know, uh, actually explosion is probably on a one-day basis, anything above two. You know, they're, they're hitting the sell button, everybody, you're hearing it on news. And that's when you you look, because you're, you're days, or not days, you're... You're probably hours away from below. In other words, hours could be a day or two, yeah. but it's not like a month or two or a week or two. You're counting the days that bottom's going to occur. So once you start seeing rings, you know, preferably up around two, even three, you know, you're looking a day or two away, probably for a meaningful low, and that's it. Gets pretty good. I uh, picked out bottoms a day of the bottoms on, on this before. Nice, you know. But it, they're tough. Yeah, no, <laughs> so there's no, there's no, there's, naked, yeah, there, there's you know, no private audience there, and everybody's kind of laughing at you. Right. Uh, no, but, this, I can but, see that. Uh, yeah, because it's like, what's yeah, going to make it turn around? I mean, everything's going down. You know, the the VIX has quite a jump out here today too, Tim. The Tim, yeah. the VIX up two fifty three. We're trading at nineteen forty three. So, I mean, the last time, you know, in one week, it's already gone from what? Uh, yeah, it's gone from twelve fifty seven. Yeah, no, thirteen fifty-seven. Yeah, and that was yeah, it was kind of unusual. You know, everything uh, kind of acts different in kind of different markets. You know, that yeah. trend stayed low even on uh, that top we had in August. It kind of just stayed low, which is kind of rare. But now we're getting the uh, the trend finally, you know, approaching twenty and higher, and so that's helping too. He gets in the twenties and even uh, very seldom gets to thirty, but it, it does get to thirty every once in a while on a kind of a washout low. So this is kind of lining up. My bet is the, the bottom, I think, is going to be this week. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, prove me wrong, you know, and but uh, Thursday, uh, you know, well, well, today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You know, I'm thinking it's Thursday or Friday, you know, uh, you know, the market may attempt to rally maybe tomorrow, try for a bounce. And if it doesn't, I bet we get a washout move going into this weekend. So we'll see. No, you can, uh, they, they, I can see that. I've been in, seeing enough of these when they start momentum to the downside, they, it usually doesn't quit. Right. Until you get real climatic. Right, so, right. There's no, there's, uh, yeah. You know, you had the the spies had broken its swing point, you know, you know, the middle of last week. Now the Qs only broke the swing point today. And the Qs have quite a way to go to where, you know, like if we're talking about where they all broke out from, do you know what I mean? So the spy's almost there. The spy's only like, uh, you know, another six points away from, you know, the 420, 418 area. Do you know what I mean? Where, where the Q's, you know, is playing catch up here. So it's, there's no doubt it's yeah. going to get interesting here, man. Yeah, I, I thought we, you know, I didn't actually think we'd get down. We, You talked about this, too. I thought, well, maybe we'll find support around this 430 area. But, you know, the, the real support's down around that 420. 
Yeah. And when these when the market gets to support area, that's usually where all the panic really occurs. So we're a little bit away from it, but I bet we hit it. I bet that trend totally explodes. Well, listen, Tim, so. it's always a pleasure. We look forward to having you on Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you get hold of Tim. He has a great newsletter at ord-oracle.com. Have a great one, Tim. Have right. a safe one. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So down, down just right now, down 366. You got the NASDAQ off 213, S&P's off 64. I want to go over this arms that Tim uses uh, for you folks, okay, so you can... Kind of see how this thing works because it, it's really cool. I mean, I you know, the we actually I used to have Dick Arms actually on, um, but Tim at the first time, even though Dick Arms used to be on the show, Tim basically taught me this in 1994. Okay, that's how crazy it was. You heard him say that this is bread and butter. So what's important to understand here is this: you can see. What happens is that, you know, if, if let's picture this, okay? You know, some of us trade both sides of the market. That's one thing. But if you only buy, if you're looking to buy the dip, this is really crucial to understand because it's really cool. It'll be, it'll, it won't make it easier to buy, but there's no reason to get in the middle of still a downdraft. And what's important to understand is this. You can see even today, today you're down 1.5%. And you can see that, you go into a high of 1.45. That being said, there's a lot of buying that's going on because you're at 1.12 right now. So Tim was talking about 
He wants these closing ticks. He wants 10-day closing ticks at 1.20 average, okay? And you can see what happened yesterday. You know, bottom line, you had a 0.66. Now, 0.66 means that everyone was buying the high-flying stocks. That's how this works. When you get the, you know, the 1.45, the 1, everyone is basically selling the same stocks. That's how, that's how these things work, okay? So pay attention to it because if you're looking to basically buy a dip, in this particular case, you know, the bottom line, this is not, the market's been coming down. You know, and I know, you know, in the past, the market turns around in like one or two days. Well, there's not much for it right now, you know. It's not that it wants to come down more, but that level down there, okay, which is still quite a way down, is a big deal. And if that gets up to the 1.20, then you put your, you know, foot in the water and say, okay, man, I'm ready to go. Have a great one. Have a safe one, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock.